20-year-old Asia Johnson was an amazing young woman and a wonderful mother to a two-year-old little boy and a newborn baby girl. She was enrolling in nursing school and had dreams of being a pediatric nurse. Sadly, while walking outside pushing her baby girl in a stroller, a masked man would run up to Asia and gun her down, tragically taking her life. Who would want to kill Asia and how can they shoot this mother while she is walking with her baby? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to New York, New York. Asia Johnson enjoyed the finer things in life, and she worked very hard to get them. She took very good care of her son and was excited to be the mother of a newborn baby girl, but Asia had a turbulent relationship with her daughter's father, 20-year-old Isaac Argro. There was a history of domestic violence in the relationship. Asia, who has a son who is nearly two from a previous relationship, had been conflicted about whether to abort her baby with Argro because she feared him but ultimately chose life, her mom said through tears. My daughter actually went to the doctor and got abortion medicine. She came home and she sat down and said I can't do it, I don't care mommy, this is my baby, and I'm going to take care of her, and I'm going to love her and she did, DeSort said. Asia reported that Isaac assaulted her while she was six months pregnant. After the assault, Asia decided to cut off her relationship with Isaac and didn't inform him of the status of her pregnancy or when she was going to give birth. She was afraid of Isaac causing her to hide out in a domestic violence shelter in order to stay safe. After the assault, the mother claimed that Argro proceeded to stalk and harass Asia. This prompted Asia and her mother to contact the police for assistance. Asia went to the police on New Year's Day after Isaac assaulted her to report her ex-boyfriend assaulted her at his home in Jamaica, Queens, when she was six months pregnant and he was now stalking and harassing her. But despite authorities having Isaac's address, he was never taken into custody. Isaac would soon discover where Asia was hiding out. After Asia went into labor and gave birth at Mount Sinai Hospital, Isaac contacted Asia, stating that he knew where she was and knew the exact date and time she was discharged. She was very upset and called her mother saying mommy, how did the hospital tell him I was discharged and to where? Asia's mother, Lisa DeSort, reported that Isaac had been stalking Asia and this is how he was able to obtain this information. Asia's mother was very worried for her and instructed Asia to stay far away from him and to text her wherever she went. Asia feared her baby's father, but in spite of her concerns, she agreed to meet with him so that he could see his daughter. She sent text messages to her family informing them that she intended to see her baby's father because she felt bad that he wasn't a part of their daughter's life and wanted her to get to know him. She messaged her family describing exactly where she was meeting Argro and what he was wearing when she spotted him. On June 29, 2022 on a Wednesday at around 8.25 p.m. that evening, Asia was pushing her three-month-old baby girl in a stroller near the intersection of Lexington Avenue and East 95th Street, preparing to meet her baby's father. Argo told Asia that he wanted to bring her items for the baby. It is reported that Argo showed up at East 95th Street between Lexington and 3rd Avenues without the supposed goods, clothed in black with a ski mask over his face. He then ran up to Asia and shot her in the head. After shooting Johnson in the head at close range, Argo fled the scene. Argo was caught on CCTV throwing away his clothes in order to elude police authorities and arrest. There were many 911 calls to police as there were multiple witnesses to the shooting. Witnesses called 911 and described an attacker dressed in a black sweatshirt and sweatpants that fit the description of Argo that Asia sent to her family. Police arrived and Asia was taken to Metropolitan Hospital Center, where she was pronounced dead. Investigators examined the crime scene and from the nature of the shooting, authorities believed Asia was targeted. At this point in the investigation, authorities were attempting to contact Asia's ex-boyfriend, Isaac Argro, he was being treated as a person of interest in the killing. Begin with that young mother gunned down while simply walking with her baby on a summer evening. Tonight we are hearing from the victim's own mother. Cops now say Text messages recovered from her phone reveal she had been planning to meet her ex-boyfriend at a park. I went to Zeus reporter Kimberly Richardson is live on the Upper East Side of Manhattan where police are searching for the killer tonight. Kim. Well, Liz, and that meeting was supposed to happen right here near this park, but clearly Asia was worried things would not end well. The couple had a volatile relationship, one Asia's mother agonized over. I knew I was going to come to this, and I told my daughter this. 
Lisa's 20 year old daughter, Asia Johnson, who was fatally shot at point blank range here on East 95th Street off Lexington Wednesday night. The mother of two was walking, pushing her three month old daughter in a stroller when she was targeted. Sources tell Eyewitness News Asia planned to meet the baby's father at a nearby park to work things out. But she was scared. For some reason, she felt like she needed to be trapped. So she texted her sister and said, listen, this is my location, just in case. That was right around 8.15 in the evening. The phone did track to this park. It was like extremely loud, like a boom. And then the hospital. Asia was dead. The bullet that hit her then struck this parked car. I text my daughter, Asia, call me because she wasn't answering the phone. She's destroyed. I could hear her screaming last night. Ebony is a neighbor and good friend, tells me Asia adored her daughter and son, who turns two in August. She just never wanted confrontation. She just wanted to raise her kids and just grow. She was quiet. She never had a problem with nobody. Except her daughter's father. In January, Asia filed a complaint against the 24-year-old for assaulting her in Queens. Lisa begged Asia to leave him. He beat her up when she was six months pregnant. I told her, if he beats you up once, he's going to beat you up again. Asia was staying at this shelter in East Harlem, but hoped to one day become a pediatric nurse. Asia was a good person, and she ain't deserved that. Some, some, some people were out there, not Asia. Later that night, the community held a ca According to many sources, Argro was actively communicating with Asia's family while he was on the run inquiring about the whereabouts of his child. He also threatened another individual who knew Asia, saying they were next. Authorities began to search for Isaac, and days later, he was arrested by the NYPD. Any comment, Isaac? Did you shoot her? Anything you want to say to the family? Innocent. 22-year-old Isaac R. Groh said he was innocent when being led into Manhattan criminal court. But prosecutors say R. Groh shot and killed his ex-girlfriend, execution style, on Wednesday night, pushing the couple's three-month-old in a stroller on East 95th Street on the Upper East Side. Asia Johnson was just 20 years old. Her mother, Lisa DeSort, tells PIX11 that Argro had been physically abusive to her daughter, that she had been staying in a shelter to get away from him. But the night of the murder, DeSort says she suddenly found out her daughter had agreed to meet up with Argro. My daughter was actually texting her back and forth somewhere around 8 o'clock, and that's when we found out he was there. In the text, she said, all black with a black ski mask and um, black Air Max. And that was the last thing we heard from my daughter. Witnesses have said the shooter was wearing all black with a black hood up. Argro was taken into custody in Brooklyn Friday afternoon and arrested and charged with murder Friday night. DeSort told PIX11 this morning how she reacted when she found out. I looked into the sky and I said, Asia, they got him. He is being charged with murder in the second degree and criminal possession of a weapon in the second degree. He is being held without bond. This was a senseless crime. To commit such a violent act in the presence of a child is just pure evil. There are no words that can ease the pain and suffering Asia's family and loved ones must be going through. Asia Johnson didn't deserve what happened to her. Nobody does. She was a great mother with dreams and goals and she should have been able to live her life. Nobody should have decided upon themselves that her life should end. My condolences to her friends and family. May you get justice and one day find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.